Hey guys, Jarek here, and I am in a parking lot at Eastport Plaza in Southeast Portland, currently in front of a Walmart because I'm going to be getting Halo 4 at midnight. Now, the reason I'm standing in front of a Walmart instead of a GameStop or another game store is because this Eastport Plaza actually does have a GameStop. It's actually, uh, it's actually just over there in those buildings. However, the line to get Halo 4, as I anticipated, goes on for probably a few blocks. I'll show you that line uh, after I got my game. But you know, here's the line for Halo 4 at Walmart, so I didn't have it pre-ordered, and I could get it for the same price at Walmart, or wait in line for a few blocks at GameStop. I think you know what I'm gonna do. All right, so here we are. This is the GameStop I was talking about. I'm gonna walk back and uh, get my Halo 4 at Walmart after I get done recording all these people, but uh, here's the line for Halo 4 at GameStop in comparison to the 20 people at Walmart. Alright, so there's the line at GameStop. I'm gonna go grab my stuff at Walmart and then let's see how many people are still in line when I get done. FYI, I'm still not entirely awake right now because my sleep is incredibly screwed up and I woke up literally about an hour ago. Usually I'm waking up sometime early afternoon, go into bed somewhere around 4 or 8 in the morning, but never mind, I guess I'm gonna go to bed at 2 in the morning or 2 in the afternoon and wake up at 11 at night. So in comparison to that line of Walmart, or at GameStop, here's uh, all uh, the people that have showed up at Walmart. <laughs> I'd like to refer to us as the smarter people here. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. A uh, concern I had is maybe it would have one of those stupid Walmart editions or something dumb like that on it, but there's no sticker on it. It's properly wrapped. It's not messed up in any way like Walmart usually likes to do. So, uh, hey, I got my Halo 4. It took a little bit longer than it was supposed to. Uh, the, they were having a little bit of issue with the scanning, so it took about 10 minutes or so. But I still want to see how many people are actually still in line at GameStop. So it looks like there's still a decent amount of people in line. It's still kind of curling around the uh, courtyard in Eastport. But surprisingly for GameStop, the line is going faster than usual, which is normally not fast in any way whatsoever, because GameStop's slow. But hey. A lot shorter than before, but decently quick. No one wants to hear your shitty music. Your music sucks! So hey, there you go, Halo 4 Midnight Launch. It's been a long time since I've actually gone out and gotten a game at midnight. And the sole reason for that is because Steam is just far more convenient. For people that don't know how Steam works, and that would be basically people that only play on console, if you pre-order a game on Steam, uh, one, there's a possibility you can push the release date forward a little bit of a while, which is pretty cool. They also tend to give you kind of a bunch of bonus stuff, like maybe a multiplayer skin you can use online, depending on how many people pre-order it. And uh, before the game is actually released, they give you a time to preload it. So basically, you'll have the game fully installed but locked before it's actually released, which is convenient because as soon as it gets released, you can play it immediately. And really, that's the only reason I don't actually get games at midnight. There's no reason to with Steam around. Uh, discs are very outdated and PC gamers haven't used them in forever. But hey, Halo 4 isn't out on PC, unfortunately. I wish they continued to port the Halo games to PC. The only ones they actually did were Halo 1 and Halo 2. The only reason they ported Halo 1 is because at the time Xbox did not have Xbox Live, so PC had online multiplayer, and the only reason they ported Halo 2 to PC is because Microsoft was so bent on trying to sell Windows Vista, so hey, no more Halo games on PC after that. Kind of disappointing, but I do own an Xbox. For me, my Xbox is definitely basically a Halo box. That's the only reason I own it. 
I mean, Trials and Gears of War is a nice added benefit, but to me, it's definitely a Halo box. But yeah, Halo 4, midnight release, I'll definitely be doing a full playthrough, a lot of multiplayer, some of the new co-op mode they added in to replace Firefight. Uh, so I'll be looking forward to that. I'll go ahead and install Halo 4 to my 360 while I'm editing this video, and I'll see you guys over there.